hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Alexa tarot and i am a certified second degree reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader i want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers thank you so much for sharing my channel with others for uh, tuning in several times a week whenever i post new uploads as well as and most importantly thank you for your support i greatly appreciate it um for those of you that are visiting for the first time welcome i hope that you find this virgo uh general life messages reading insightful now this is a general reading if you would like a private one-to-one -one reading take a look down in my description box all my information is there please note i do not reach out to potential clients so if someone is reaching out to you saying they are me it is not me and it is a scam so please be very careful unfortunately here on youtube that is happening a lot so again if you are interested in a private reading just reach out to me uh with my information down in the in the description box okay so let's take a look here virgo what am i going to channel for you today well i'm channeling the messages of uh your recent past or past your present energy and what's coming in for you okay so this is a general reading so it could be anything in it could uh, again it could point to your love life whoa so there you go you have fertility there growth that's interesting um so this can point to your love life this can point to your career or your finances okay so take the messages that resonate for whatever area that it uh that you need uh, this message for now this is a timeless reading so whenever you come across this video uh it is uh you know meant for you to hear all right so uh virgo let's take a look here at your uh past or recent past all right so before i even turn this over let me just take a look here uh this fertility uh card is talking about growth this may be the overlining theme or over overarching theme here in this whole entire reading looking at your uh recent past present and what's coming in for you okay so there's a lot of growth here with this card three of fertility that is the empress energy could talk about self uh self-love self-care uh abundance prosperity okay even in love because this uh empress energy is uh, very much so with this uh, venus energy as well okay so it could be beauty your love life and in things of that nature so let's take a look here at what's going on or what happened here in your uh past or recent past so you have uh envy and deception uh reversed you have temptation upright and you have power upright as well as intuition okay so what i'm feeling here for you virgo is in the past or recent past there was a feeling here of things not being quite as what they seem okay when it's like this it's talking about when it's right side up it's talking about deception i feel that you may have uncovered a deception you may have uncovered something that was hidden okay and this something may have caused a great deal of uh self-sabotaging thoughts feelings and uh behaviors here self-limiting ideas okay um it may have created a lack of moderation all right so there may have been maybe uh, just habits or lo low vibrational frequency that just kind of am amplified here with this temptation card okay i feel here that there was a a certain amount or a level of self or i should say willpower that was needed and it's interesting because this is how it came in right so you have this uncovering of a deception uh you have the temptation card and you have here uh the lion on one side and the man or the person the other and i feel that you were this part of you was trying to control this beast this untamable energy here that you were feeling so there's this sense of trying to control that uncovering of emotions okay uncovering of the deception or the hidden energies or the hidden things that you weren't aware of and that in a way you were trying to control 
or trying to, um, I, I'm, I'm hearing willpower, have the willpower to control or to manage this energy here with the temptation, trying to manage the temptations, trying to take a strong hold of them. Okay. And um, I feel that for some of you that this uh, situation here with deception and envy, you had a deep intuition. You had a deep sense of knowing or an inner knowing. There was some type of inner oracle within yourself that felt that something wasn't right. Okay. Now, whether this something that wasn't right was in your love uh, area of love, area of career, or every area of finance, whatever area this is, you I feel that you were feeling like, even though it may have been a surprise for some of you, some of you were like, okay, this is a confirmation. Okay. So some of you may have felt, all right, something flipped over here. Let's take a look at what that was. Uh, luck is on your side. So there was something that you were really focused on here in the past or recent past. Okay. This growth that you were focusing on. New moon in Sagittarius. Let's see what happened. Your, your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Okay. So there was perhaps a change here for you in the past or recent past in regards to uh, that Taurus energy, which is stability, okay, with your career, with your finances. I feel here there was a strong sense here, I'm getting, that there was a change in, in the stability of something that meant a lot to you here, Virgo. Some of you, it was a change in finances. Others of you may have been a change in jobs or career, or there may, may have been a change of stability in your love life, okay? Now, whether it's in your marriage, in a long distance, I keep seeing long distance relationship. I don't know, this this same thing I said in the Taurus one. Um, some of you may have been in a long distance relationship. Some of you may be in a separation here. Others of you may have a long-term commitment here with someone. But there was a change in stability here due to this energy, okay, of the deception and envy in reverse and the temptation card, which is the devil energy. So I feel that that energy, it, 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 in a way I'm hearing or I'm feeling here the sense of that it changed the growth or the speed of how things were evolving or moving, or growing here in this area in your past or recent past all right let's take a look here at more messages here for your past and recent past so guys what i'm going to do here for you um if this uh, area uh, this area this um reading gets a little too long you're going to see in the description box i am going to time stamp each of the areas of past present what's coming and your advice in case you guys can't watch this whole entire video in one shot you could always come back and uh, go where wherever you left off okay continue where you left off all right so here you have two um Two cards that just popped out for you you have rest and rejuvenation all right so there may have been this period of the past here where you had to sit down with yourself okay and really tune into or listen to your intuition or your inner oracle in order to be able to leave this energy behind or deal with this energy here okay there was a sense of hostilities here in the past or recent past. Again, because maybe there was a deception or in or something that you didn't know about that was now that's now uncovered and it created a real big situation here with your inner self, with your self-sabotaging thoughts, fears, okay? And here with hostilities, I feel that this was either A, there were a lot of arguments. There was a lot of anger. There was a lot of hostility here in the situation, whether it was you were angry at yourself, whether it was you were angry or upset at other people. I feel here there were a lot of arguments, exchanging of words here with the swords energy and feeling communication may have been a little intense, but it was all due to this um, situation here where... Um, Again, where this devil energy or this energy of self-doubt 
I'm seeing a volcano it just erupted is what they're telling me here. All right, so let's take a look here at more information here about your past or recent past. I want to clarify that intuition very quickly, so I'll do that in a few minutes. Let me just see what's going on here as far as more information, more clarity. So yeah, you were in the past or recent past. You went through a sense of transformation, deep transformation, whether things transformed in your career or the spirit of transformation in your love life or in your finances there was a huge uh situation here where there was a a rebirth and it was uncomfortable okay i'm hearing it was very uncomfortable because things were on pause the hangman things stopped there was a stoppage there was a pause during this pause though here in the past or recent past i also feel that there was also a new way or a new perspective or looking at things in a new way while you were going through the sense of transformation so the situation may have uh may have uh, pushed you or catapulted you into a period of rebirth here in the past or recent past that created or that was um i hear this the 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 step in the right direction for you to gain new perspective okay and what's behind that car what was behind here uh behind this uh hanged man well the four of swords you took a mental break i feel here that the, your emotions were all over the place your thoughts were all over the place you took that time to step back some of you took that time remember that i told you here with the fertility with the empress it's time to self-care okay with this situation here all right let's take a look at intuition very quickly what's more clarity here on intuition okay let me mm -hmm. more information here on intuition yeah some of you d weren't listening to your intuition okay so here is the sickle some of you uh shut down your inner oracle okay some of you weren't you weren't moving or you weren't making decisions based on what your inner self or your higher self was telling you others of you though i feel did listen to your inner intuition i feel some of you were able to gain the insight needed here because you decided to hone into it so again this is a general reading i feel some of you didn't Okay, some of you cut that intuition and just went on the practical, logical part. Others of you, I feel that this was an opportunity for you to open this sense of intuition and to gain uh, some type of clarity or epiphany while you were going through this past or recent past. Now, let's take a look here at what is your present. What is, what is the present energy, Virgo, that you are uh, going through or undergoing right now at this current moment in time? Now, this is a timeless video, timeless uh, post. So whenever you find this message, this message was meant for you to hear. All right, so you have harmony. I feel things are more balanced right now in the present time you have recognition and reward all right in reverse and you have the throat chakra in reverse and you have destiny upright okay now some of you uh you you also have here the heart chakra in reverse so there's some of you who still may be in this time of um if this was a deception or a situation here in the past where uh trust was an issue i feel that some of you still in the present moment are trying to get over that sense of uh trying to allow yourself to feel intimate with other people okay whether it's in your career your finances or uh your love life or your family life okay so there may be a little bit more of a blockage here for some of you in the present time and that's the fear of intimacy it's the fear of being hurt again is what i'm hearing here um others of you you are in this period of harmony okay this is the lovers the lovers card in this deck okay so some of you are currently uh in this period of 
feeling of emotions, feeling the soulful connection. Now, feeling the soulful connection could be in your love life, okay, with a significant other or with someone who has uh, come, you know, into your life. If you are married, this is just saying that there's more intimacy, there's more love, passion, uh, there's more soulful connection with your uh, partner, your husband, your wife, okay? For others of you, I feel here, if you're single um, or, you know, whomever this message may resonate with, this is you becoming uh, one with your higher self, okay? So for some of you, this is talking about love. For others of you, this is talking about your spirituality, you being more in tune with your higher self. Others of you, I feel here, you are working better at work with others, you are able to uh, work better with or in a more of a cohesive manner with your uh, perhaps with the company that you work for your boss your supervisor your colleagues your co-workers okay i feel here with this recognition and reward okay which is the three of pentacles some of you um may be a little bit on the reserve side some of you are not ready to work with others in love others of you may not be feeling too um how can i say too trusting with some of the people that you work with okay you may be working on that now okay um but i feel that some of you um you're not being uh, i'm hearing another message here for you i'm hearing that some of you are, you're not being um recognized for the work and the the work or the sacrifice that you're doing at your current either job or in your current situation in love or um family okay that 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 message is not for all of you here but i feel here that in the present moment time you're not really talking about that you're really some of you are just focusing on the positivity of this the harmony the balance you're keeping this part of not feeling as appreciated you know you're not you're, you're not feeling appreciated is what i'm hearing here um i feel here that destiny okay that destiny is opening up opportunities for you though i feel here in the present time destiny is opening up this opportunity for you to feel a sense of balance in love in career and in finances okay it's opening up for you here Let's take a look here at what other messages we have for you here, Virgo, in the present moment. Okay, so this popped out, and there are two of them. And sure enough, we have communication here. Remember that I just said to you that there is this throat chakra that's closed. Okay, throat chakra is communication. It's not only just communication, but it's also listening to the other person or listening to others, okay, or listening to advice. So, of course you know the details here for you are talking about just that they're saying communication is key so there's there are situations here uh, that are currently in need of clear communication okay between you and other people okay so you may not be doing that as much as you need to right now because i said remember this is working with others so you're not perhaps telling others how you feel and what it's saying here in the present time is that communication is key so either some of you are trying to clear communication with those that you feel that you're having a little bit difficulty to express your emotions and your thoughts clearly all right you are very close in achieving your goal all right so here it's pretty much the the give us a uh, moon here and i feel that through communication, you're going to be able to solve certain situations here in the present time. Or that through communication or listening to others or working with others, allowing yourself to be less guarded on the emotional side, allowing yourself to be uh, more open uh, with communication and with listening, that you're going to be able to reach your peak in this area of either love uh either love uh career or finances here for you uh virgo i feel here that you're also in a way reviewing because it's like the view is looking up it's like you're looking at things through another perspective perhaps because of this communication maybe clearing out the air is going to or is currently helping you align and see things in a different light 
I'm hearing here growth again. So again, all of this may be helping you to grow and to grow in the heart chakra here to be able to open yourself up emotionally and this ring here i'm being called to say and also be open uh, uh enough here in the throat and ear okay throat and ear being able to open yourself up for growth and listening okay so let's take a look and communicating so let's take a look here at what other uh details i can channel here for you in the present time so let's see here oh finances and constraints okay so there may be a change here of financial constraints okay or there there may be a change here that you know it's it's coming from a place of lack or you may feel like you don't have enough of something but it's saying here that your action of moving forward in something that you love is going to help you with the strategy of awakening that part of you and be able to let to get out of your comfort zone here is what i'm being told all right so again financial constraints here with this action card you're going to move yourself forward the door to romance is going to open so opportunities for either love or fulfillment in your career your finances are currently happening for you because you are taking and this is a strategy card taking the time to really look at or make plans okay from a here's door to spirit from a clear perspective on here the garden and the gate uh be able to come out of your comfort zone all right so i feel that that's what's going on here for you in the present time okay you're allowing yourself to step out of your comfort zone Let's take a look here at what other messages I can pull out for you here for your present time. Let's take a look. So you have the Knight of Swords. And remember we were talking about this um, card, this energy of door to romance, this ability to love and plan for what you um are awakening to or realizing here okay for your own growth well what's on your mind here with this knight of swords knight of swords is the seven of pentacles which is investing investing in something of value okay virgo you're taking the time here to invest and to put in the hard work and the dedication for this full card which is to start a new beginning that's what you're doing right now that's the energy that you're in why because you're you're gonna grow it's all about growth for you and i told you this message i felt that was going to tie in to every aspect of your reading and that's exactly what's happening for you here virgo you're growing you're moving forward you're investing in yourself but in order to do that you need to currently get out of your comfort zone all right so virgo let's take a look at what's coming in for you what's coming in for virgo well you've you've let down this or you've let down the guard you've released this four of swords you're no longer in this rest mode you're no longer okay thinking about in this what's coming in for you you're you you will no longer think about what's holding you back you no longer will think about why things aren't moving forward because in this new energy that's coming in for you you're going to be more hopeful okay you're going to you're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel here so all of a sudden this energy of the four swords in reverse there's going to you're going to release that energy and you're going to release this energy of feeling that things aren't really moving forward for you okay i feel here that the slower pace of things moving in for you in the energy that's coming in for you is going to allow you to reassess things in a different way to see things in a new light to see things in a different per, from a different perspective 
which is interesting because here in the past or the recent past you have the hanged man which is the stoppage which is the you know the stoppage of that here you know i feel that you're releasing that you're you're allowing yourself to look at this be in the sun energy you're going to be in the spotlight you have two cards that are showing the sun at its fullest sun is vitality sun is strength sun is brightness is contentment it's happiness it's joy it's allowing the sun is needed for what the sun is needed to grow things so this growth is happening or coming in in your near future or in with the energy that's coming in for you yeah your fourth chakra you're going to open up that uh heart chakra you're going to open up remember what's here in the reverse which was that a uh, fear of intimacy you're going to open up that energy here in the energy that's coming up for you and you're going to feel more stable okay here with the woman holding a coin there's going to be a sense of stability in what in love for some of you in the love of your job in the love of a partner in more love in your committed relationship for those that are single love could be coming in for you okay and the reason why is because you have this adjacent possibilities you're going to be able to see the options that you didn't see in the past they're now coming in for you there's more of an ability for this opening this light at the end of the tunnel this opening this brightness you're going to see things i feel here uh virgo in a new light in a new perspective and you have temperance okay so there is going to be this balance this patience okay in the near future or the energy that's coming up for you let's see what other messages are coming through here for you what's coming in for you wow the ace of pentacles this is beautiful this is investing in something of value the ace of pentacles new beginning there's going to be with well, the energy that's coming in for you is this new beginning all right this new beginning that you have seven of swords been persistent to get king of cups that you've wanted and that you have felt intuitively and rightly you feel that it belongs to you okay that you deserve it you deserve this new opportunity of finances this financial gain financial opportunity tangible wealth stability okay now this could be in your love career or finances all right virgo but it's interesting here because i'm being called to 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 show you this <clears throat> and all three cards here if you can see closely here you have the sun brightness confidence vitality some of you may have leo in your chart in your birth chart okay but there is this illumination this light at the end of the tunnels very nice this is beautiful this is upcoming success upcoming uh positivity for you let's take a look here at what is the message for you for advice so what is the advice here for virgo it's a beautiful reading i feel here um i'm being called to tell you here guys that in your what's coming energy you're going to be more intuitive also you're going to embrace your intuition here with this king of cups his eyes are closed because he's feeling um not only from his heart area okay from his heart chakra but he's also feeling intuitively the energy around him okay he's the master of that of love compassion and intuition so here in the energy that's coming up for you virgo you will be in this energy of feeling more intuitive in listening more to your intuition here okay last but not least advice nine of earth which is the nine of pentacles it's saying stand in your power okay stand in your power feel the sense of accumulation and things moving uh, in a positive direction all right four of earth okay or the four of uh pentacles and the ten of wands it's telling you here 
um, Virgo, you need to release the burden. You need to release those things that no longer serve you. You may be working too hard in the present or in uh, the upcoming energy. So they're telling you here already to be very careful not to overwork yourself, okay? Not to get into this temptation here in the past, which is work, being a workaholic, okay? So don't overburden yourself for things that you cannot uh you know control okay because there's health problems that may come from this stress okay or this burden that you can hang that you may be uh hanging on to so they're telling you pretty much to release this and here it's pretty much uh saying here with the four of um coins here the four of earth to hang on to this independence hang on to this self-confidence hang on to this feeling of fulfillment that you are creating for yourself whether it's in your love in your career or your finances virgo i'm sorry that it was such a long reading but i hope that you were able to gain some type of insight if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so you'll see the subscription button here or here so just click on that and i'll see you next time thank you so much Bye bye